DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. Joseph Malangi and the chopper that uh, he has bought. I know the Joseph Malangi has come out to say uh, he's a businessman, he has been a businessman from a long time ago, and I know that. I, for one, know that Joseph Malangi has been a businessman from a long time. Uh, I know that. I know. But, but, I want to tell you that today, if I were president and Joseph Malange is my minister, I would have fired him. Today, if the, I were the president, I would have fired Joseph Malange. I would have fired him. And why do I say that? Why do I say I would have fired him? What is wrong in Joseph Malange, you know, buying a chopper if he has got the money? What is wrong in that? There is something that is very wrong in doing that. As they always say, everything has got its own time. You must measure time. At what time you are doing certain things. Joseph Malangi is not just a private person. That is number one. Joseph Malangi is not just a private person. He's not just a businessman who is making money and can spend his money whichever way he wants. Joseph Malangi, he is a leader. Joseph Malangi is a leader. And as a leader, you are, are supposed to be sensitive. Sensitive to what your people are going through. You're supposed to be very sensitive. But what Joseph Malangi has shown, it's not showing sensitivity to what is currently going on in this country. It's not, it's not showing that. And therefore, he falls below the expectations of a leader. And by the way, PF is a pro-poor pro -poor party. PF is a pro-poor party, which means, which means they are supposed to live and be sensitive with what is currently happening. That is what means to be pro-poor. It doesn't mean, I mean, just to, just to talk about it. Being pro-poor, it means you want to live according to the way people are living. Of course, you don't have to go down, you know, to live in whatever. Uh -uh. But you must be sensitive to what's going on, to the sufferings of the people. That is what, that's what it means to be pro-poor. Pro poor, you need to be sensitive. You need to be sensitive and act accordingly. But the, the kind of leadership that we are seeing, the kind of leadership that we are seeing among the PF members, pontified or uh, uh, with the helmet coming from Bajo Malangi, is nothing of pro poor. Can the PF talk about being pro poor today? Because most of them, they are living very luxurious life. They are flaunting wealth. They are showing off wealth. Please make no mistake. I am not saying that they should be suffering. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying they should walk, you know, uh, 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 barefoot. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying they should be riding bicycles. I'm not saying that. They should live okay. They should live comfortable. Especially if they have worked for the world. They should live like that. But what we are seeing, it's not people who are sensitive to the poor. Pro-poor means being sensitive to the poor. Being sensitive to what is going on in the country. But a number of the PF guys are not sensitive to what is currently going on. They are not being sensitive. They are not even being sensitive to their own government. 
Even to their own party, they are not being sensitive. Because even in PF, there are people who are suffering. Even in PF, there are people who are suffering. And some of these guys, they are not even sensitive to these people. They are failing in leadership. They are failing to adhere to what their party says. Their party says you are supposed to be pro-poor. When Sata started this party, he emphasized on being with the people. Being with the people. Ask Chela. Ask Chela. Ask Chela. Chela will tell you about how Sata was so insistent on living according to the, you know, being modest. How Sata wanted to be modest. I remember at one point, the wife to the, the former first lady, she was telling a story of how Sata refused to let go of an old phone that he had. She was telling a story that we stayed, we told him, no, leave that phone, the phone, no, change any phone. And he said, what is the problem with my phone? My phone is working. Eh? And they forced him to change a phone, just a phone. They changed it. They forced him to change a phone, just a phone. That is being sensitive, being modest. It's not, it's not that Sata could not afford an iPhone. He was the president by that time. They were in state house. But Sata refused to change the phone that he was using. You never saw Sata, you know, dishing out money or living in, in, the, in, in superfluous. He was not like that. It was life. He didn't. He lived a modest life. Even when he was president, he lived a modest life. But what we are seeing now, among the so-called PF uh, senior members, it is abhorring. It is preposterous. You can't, you can't, you can't be living like that. You can't be professing PF being a pro-poor, and yet you are living a luxurious life. I am not saying Joe Malanja has stolen the money. I'm not saying, but I'll come to that as well. I'll come to that as well. My point at, at this point in time, I am saying, how can Joe Malange be flaunting his wealth, wherever it has come from, when Zambians are struggling, when our country is defaulting on loans? He's a minister, he's part of government. And on top of that, this is a foreign affairs minister. He's a face. On, our inter on the international scene. And we are going on the international scene talking to the, to, to the IMF that they should give us a bailout package. A bailout package with a minister who is buying a chopper, who is spending millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And you are going out to beg to say, no, Tuafu Eniko as a country, we are a poor country. Meanwhile, you have come with your own chopper. It does that make sense? To you people, does that make sense? Those of you who are negotiating with different international communities to say, no, can you understand, can you bear with us? We don't have money to pay. Meanwhile, your ministers are, are spending millions of dollars on transport. Eh? They are spending millions of dollars on transport, just transport. Does that make sense? Does that make sense for Joe Malange? Does that make sense? You are a foreign affairs minister. Does it make sense that our country is going around the world asking for a bailout package, ne renegotiating our debt because we are failing to pay? Does that make sense that you, as a minister, together with other ministers, you are spending millions of dollars in the face of everyone, carelessly? Does that make sense? And someone is saying, no, 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 Joe Malange has got money, has got money, Joe Malange has been making, and even himself, he comes out, no, I was driving an S-class in 1992. You are a minister, for goodness sake. You are a leader of a poor country, a country that is defaulting on loans. 
you are a leader in a country where we have people who have worked and have not been paid this is the this is the leadership this is the leadership that you 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 you, you, you are in and you want to to remove yourself to say no 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 me i'm rich i can afford to be flying from from sakile to to chuempala it's okay does that make sense honestly even those who are supporting john malanji does that make sense that our country is going round with a begging bowl going round with a begging bowl and our ministers and our ministers are spending millions sorry my phone keeps uh, you know i keep having phone calls but does that make sense it doesn't make sense at all it doesn't make sense at all it doesn't make sense it is i mean you can say whatever you want but that is very wrong that is wrong judgment on on uh, on uh, joseph malange wrong judgment it's a big mistake and in my government that is an instant dismissal i don't need those kind of leaders let him go and enjoy his money out there and let me remain suffering with the people i don't need those kind of leaders i would not have him i would definitely not have him i would not have him at all I would not have him because this leader is insensitive. We know up to today as we are talking, there are people that have not been paid. There are people that have not been paid. We know this. Retirees have not been paid. We are making excuses for a lot of expenditures in government. We are making excuses of a lot of expenditures in government. Because we don't have the money. But how can we say we don't have the money and yet our ministers are spending carelessly? How can we say that? PF is denied. He's, he's, he, he, they are trying to, to refuse. No, this one, eh, Doris Lee has even gone to report, eh, report to the police at what, 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 what? Come on. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be serious. We know what is going on. We are seeing this. Why are you even wasting the time going to report to the police? What are you reporting to the police? What are you reporting to the police? Just wasting police's time. Eh? You are even putting a headline. Eh? IG reviews the video. What is he revealing? I mean, the police are supposed to be following serious cases that have happened in this country where we have not had the reports where they have not concluded their investigations. That is where we're supposed to be putting the resources, not following PF cadres that you even know. You are going to report. What are you reporting? Eh? What are you reporting? I am at pain to see how you, the PF senior members, are really messing up with the police, are making it difficult for the police to do their job. It's very difficult. Very difficult. Yesterday I spoke about the issue of Karimanshi. I will repeat it today. I will repeat it today. That Karimanshi is a notorious guy with a gang. Yeah? With a gang, clearly. Where, where do you, which country would you have a person calling himself commander? Yeah? At Nama Sojavand, even causing Nama Sojavand. There are a group of them, and you can see that clearly these people, they are up to no good. They are up to no good. The police go in, you know, to arrest them. Somebody else hires lawyers to defend them. What is going on? What is going on? How, I mean, how will the police work? Yeah? How will the police work? It is very unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate. And what, what, what makes me very upset with the, the so-called commander and Karimanj, and Karimanj group is that they are associating themselves with the president. Somebody in state house is sponsoring those people. Somebody in state house is sponsoring those people. Karimanj is in court. How is he paying? 
ama lawyers who is paying ama lawyers karimanshi is himself flashing out eh expensive vehicles that even me as chiruva tayari ne chisungu chandi 13 shit eh i can't afford them how is karimanshi living that large life how is he living that large life abantu abasambirira they are now at the mercy of cadres this country and the wealth of this country is in the hands of cadres money is in the hands of cadres poor cadres are the ones who have got money and you want to go and report well, yet you know you dollar you know you know who is dishing out money you know eh you know so what are you what are you pretending what are you pretending and as if that is not is not enough as if that is not enough now we see the minister himself the minister of foreign affairs nepi sungu fyawo na 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 french yawo coming out showing off eh what no drug baron i don't know if you have watched that video when joe malandi is coming out there eh coming out like a drug baron yalandi nga ku mexico eh nice and ama drugs eh and we see ba kandire ba isaka tshinga ni ba dc ba ya ba isa to receive him come on you people what's going on what's going on finish if you are mikola who call wa kulia nomba you are drunk with the money that you have amassed you are you are drunk with the money that you have amassed and i can tell you it's not impressive it's not impressive it's painful for some of us it's painful for some of us especially that some of us we even go in the trenches to fight for you we even go in the trenches to fight for you and we suffer to la lalensa la ine nda lalensa la those whatever bala ndate tayari tayari bala mudisha mo whatever whatever ine nda lalensa la buri abushikitwa la lira matabana bakashivandi ero yomwe samukufuma kwa ma drug barons eh Okay fine. Va malanji vale vati. He has got money. He made money. Businesses are folding in this country. And it's not just in this country, world over. Because of COVID, businesses are folding. Mines are folding. Which business is Joe Malanji doing that it is so profitable at this difficult time? Imo mwa vale that Joe Malanji has been a businessman, business. Va Joe Malanji, me I'm challenging you. Tell us the business that you are doing. Tell us the business that you are doing. That is giving you so much money that you have that money to buy a a a a, a chopper. What business are you doing? Because it's it's very easy to say no I'm a businessman I'm a businessman. But what business are you doing? Can you tell us na ina ni business na ina ni ndi mu office muno. Eh? Na ina ndi chita business muno mu office. Eh? But during this time it has been so difficult I even felt to come to the office because there is no business it is very difficult I'm usually stranded because there is no business there is no business So what business is Joe Malange doing that has made him to buy that chopper During this time of covid when things are hard his government he sits in cabinet He sits in cabinet the same cabinet that is even talking about bailout packages which many people have failed to access we have seen a number of companies are folding what business imwe vakandire eh mwe vale support aba mwe vale support malanji tell me what malanji does he has said that he, he owns properties buildings There are many big, big businessmen that have got buildings. They are not buying choppers. Eh? Marky, Mark Odeno, he is a rich guy. He is a rich guy. He has got properties. He has got properties. Ask him if he's making that kind of money. Mark Odeno, I mean a businessman that we know for a long time, we have known for a long time. You don't see him spending money like that. So when our malandi ni business in Chivale chita ya kwa ti bale kwa tama millions in dollars to buy choppers 
mean, mwe wanju. Mwina mwona kwa tuli fipuba. Problemu, mwona kwa ati uchushi hupuba. Ah ah. We may be poor. Nga pino ndine chulu fateli. Ndari ya kapenda. I may be poor. I may be looking at you. If you feel happy, you need to chef ya. Take what you need to prove. Take what you need to prove. I see through you. I see through you. I see through you. And you can't fool everyone. You don't think that all Zambians are fool are foolish. Don't think all Zambians are foolish. You tell us. You tell us. That is my challenge to Joe Malange. That is my challenge. He has said that chopper costed him $1.4 million. I would like to see if indeed that chopper costed him $1.4 I want to see. I, I would like to see can he prove that that chopper costed him $1.4 Because I highly doubt. The least he would have spent for that chopper is $5 million. The least he would have spent is $5 million, not $1.4. Nakana. Nakana. Joe Malange did not buy that chopper at 1.4 million. Alebe pafiogushi. Alebe pafiogushi. And okay, fine, even if it's 1.4 million, can he show us which business is doing that is giving him 1.4 million? Can he tell us? Can he show us how he's making that kind of money? How much is Joe Malange depositing in ZRA? How much is he depositing in ZRA to show us that Joe Malange He's a, he's a rich man. Donald Trump was, used to be questioned about his wealth. And he would account. Can Joe Malangi account how much money he has? What business is doing? How much money he has? I mean, tatuli fipuwa. But we can see through. But the worst thing is that, the worst thing about all this is that you are putting us in trouble. You are putting us in trouble. How are you putting us in trouble? Because Zambia is gradually being seen as a, a corrupt country. A corrupt country, a careless country. This is the problem. You are messing our reputation. Zambia has a good reputation. Zambia has a good reputation. My lover Joe Malangi, he will be in these international meetings and they will be looking at him. Here is a minister who is coming from a poor country but has a chopper. Does that make sense? Does that give us a good reputation as a country? They will be thinking that Zambians, I mean, we don't think properly to be keeping such people in leadership. It's very bad. It's really, really bad. I don't, I mean, I don't accept it. I don't really accept it at all. I don't really accept it. People are losing jobs because companies are folding. But Joe Malangi, when I mean, I came to your office. I was looking for employment for one of, uh, you know, my nieces. Up to today, you have not given him because you told me things are hard. That's what you told me. When I, was, when I was looking for employment for one of my nieces, you told me things are hard. And I understood. I've not even bothered you. Things are hard. But today, you are buying a chopper. How come, Amdala? Chirishan? Eh? How come? I know some people, I'm, and I'm not saying this because I am bitter or anything. Nothing. No. No. I'm, I'm just being realistic. I'm just being realistic. And it is that these PF guys have continued showing off money and yet our country is going through problems. That is, that is what is very sad. And I'm so upset because Bajo Malangi, he's a minister, he's a senior minister, he's not just a minister, he's a senior minister. A senior minister who is a face of our country. A country that is looking for bailout packages. That is renegotiating debts. A country that is defaulting on debts. And we have our foreign affairs minister spending millions of dollars and saying he has been rich from whenever 1992. 
Why don't you help us? Why don't you help us? What are you contributing to this country, Bajo Malanji? I know someone will talk about a hospital, a shanshani, which Joe Malanja has built. You know, some of these donations that these politicians give, they are just a smoke screen. Smoke screen. Eh? My politics, just to buy votes. They don't give them because they love people. No. They do these to maturity, whatever, so that they can get votes. Otherwise, Joe Malanji is saying in 1992 he was driving S class. What did you do for the people in 1992? What did you do? He will be busy and he's busy donating things in his constituency because he wants votes. It's not that he loves people. Otherwise, if he loves people, he would consider. He would, con he would consider before spending ama millions on a toy. That is a toy that he has spent millions of dollars. Who spends millions of dollars on a toy? It is because Nashiku Kola a person who is not drunk with wealth would not spend that kind of money just like that. So, it is really, really sad. It is really, really sad. And from my point of view, Joe Malangi deserves to be fired. He deserves to be fired because he's insensitive. He's insensitive to what is currently going on in the country is insensitive to the party that he has joined, a party that, that uh, you know, rides on pro-poor policies, pro-poor agenda. This guy is not a pro-poor. This guy is a capitalist. This guy doesn't deserve to be in PF. He's not PF at all. Because if he's PF, he's supposed to live according to the, to the, to the ethos of PF. I don't even know. Eh? But Davis Mwila, how much does Joe Malanji give to the party? Because from the way I see it, I even doubt if Joe Malanji contributes significantly to the party. Because, you know, I mean, you cannot just be bragging around that you have got money. And you have got PF that has employed you as a minister, giving you that status. Na flag ile papa, ile stantuanikani. Eh? PF has given you that privilege to be a minister, to be respected, to have that, that red, red, uh, a, red, red passport. How much are you contributing to PF? How much are you contributing? Because I know PF for that matter. I know PF and I know people who are struggling to keep the party running. I know. I know. So some of you, when, even when you are boasting yourself, you are boasting, flashing money around. How much do you help the party that has put you in power? Elections are coming. How much are you pledging to put in PF so that you can continue being ministers? So that maybe people at the grassroots, they can have something. Because people at the grassroots, they want something. They want, they want, they want a life. How many people has Joe Malanji employed in his constituency? How many has he employed? That shopper, he has spent one million chakut. He would have set up something. The president is talking about uh, industry or whatever, whatever. He would have set up something, a company there or something like that to employ people. I'm telling you, if you are to give me one million dollars, I can set up something that I can employ 500 people immediately. 500 people and other people, you know, uh, indirectly would also be employed. No, by the way, and the toy, so that you can just be riding in it And you say I'm a leader. You say I'm a sensitive leader. You say I am, I belong to PF, a pro poor party. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. So, for me. That issue for Vajon Malanji is really, really sad. And uh, my message to him is that uh, he should act like what he, uh, is in the Bible. Let him sell that chopper. Sell that chopper, get the money, and use it in the constituency. Otherwise, people in his constituency should not give him a vote. They shouldn't give him a vote. They shouldn't give him a vote. They should not give Joe Malanje a vote. 
Because that man is not being sensitive. If he's sensitive, let him do something which will employ a number of people in his constituency. Not and come up to say he's representing people. Uh-uh. Nakana sana. Nafikana. 